Seriously. Hey guys, welcome out to the range. I wanted to show you guys a, a quick something that I had figured out. Bingo! A quick idea that I came up with not too long ago. Well, it's not something I came up with. Something that I saw when I was out of class many years ago. A guy that I was training with. I was like, dude, where'd you get that really cool um, tactical cap? And he goes, <laughs> I made it. And of course I'm thinking, you made that? And he goes, no, 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 no. He said, you know the, you know how most, um, most ball caps come with what's known as a squatchy. Some people just call it the little grommet. Most caps have a little grommet right here on top. It's known as, the official name of it is the squatchy. If you take a pair of pliers and you basically crush the squatchy and you crush it once, you rotate the cap, you crush it again, the squatchy pops off, and there's the little rivet that you guys know on the inside. And by the way, everyone always says, oh no, if you take the squatchy off, the cap will just disintegrate. No, it won't, because the thing is completely stitched all the way through, end to end. This, by the way, is a Columbia cap. Um, performance fishing gear, there's the logo right there. And they have partnered with FlexFit, which makes, as far as I'm concerned, the best caps in the world. I've had this cap, as you guys know, for a long time. You've seen this many times, and it still holds its shape. It goes through the wash. It gets abused out here. But some of you are asking, why would you want to remove the squatchy? Well, here's why. This right here, when you put this on, if you've got a squatchy, what you end up with is your hearing pro ends up jamming that squatchy right into the top of your head and it will wear you out in about five minutes flat. So if you crush a thing with a pair of pliers, pull it off, pull the grommet out of the middle, you've just made a tactical cap. And what I, here's why I don't like tactical caps. They almost always end up with Velcro in the front. And as I've repeatedly said, when you're out and about, you want to be as low key as possible. You don't want to give yourself up to the enemy and guys, if it's not obvious enough in America, it is straight up hostility against those of us that believe that America was founded by God-fearing men and women who want to serve the Almighty Creator. And anything that you're wearing that makes you come across as tactical is going to automatically make you be targeted. So heed my words now. And of course, the question that someone's going to have was, yeah, but what's that got to do with walking around the streets? Well, because if you're like me, you want to have everything that you wear in your day-to-day -day basis when you're out and about so that everything is in the same place obviously not a plate carrier or at least not yet um, and of course for me that means that the same cap that I wear here on the range I wear when I'm out and about running errands and whatnot and I like everything to feel the same way that's why so if you want to make a if you find a great cap that you like but it's not a tactical cap cool take the squatchy off instant tactical cap as always I thank you guys for watching God bless you all Get those guns out and practice. Have a good one.